today, I, I have the distinct honor of going over a number of logistics and important details that are important and relevant, but also very important and relevant. Um, so a couple of bits we're just going to talk through really quick. Uh, we have event staff. These are your lovely event staff. How did they become event staff? They put their hands up and said, I'm going to be event staff. So in the future, if you're planning on these things, you can get involved in this. People who are event staff have these lanyards, should have them. So if you see that, you can approach them and ask them questions. They can route your request. Hopefully that makes sense. Name's here. Um, now for a totally uncontroversial choice of communication channel. <laughs> We're going to pause right now. If you are not on ipfsthing.slack.com, this is a QR code. I want you to take your device that scans QR codes and get in that Slack right now. Good job, everybody. That's, yeah, OK. And just to prove that you did it, we're going to, where's my, oh, I'm going to general hi. This number's at 46. There are more than 46 people in this room. Number go up, please. This is our first KPI for this event. Oh, yeah, sorry. Here's your QR code. I was really hoping to do this whole thing in like a sort of flight attendant style with like in the unlikely event that the conference loses cabin pressure, join the Slack and ask why. All right, number go up, check. 52, we're making progress. We're testing Slack's onboarding process. How, how fast is their sign up? I'm literally not moving up this slide until all of you are on here because this is how we're going to communicate any changes to the event, any last minute updates. Uh, this Slack is ephemeral, so you get to leave it at the end. Don't worry, this isn't permanent, you know, ungarbage collectible tab in your Slack life. Um, but it's super crucial that everybody's in here. How many are we at? 59, 60. How many people are in this room? Yeah, 61, 62, five fire emojis. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to call that. If you aren't in there, honor system, join us. Um, and so, uh, as I mentioned, every track will get their own channel and room. This is our this Slack is our space. So, like, feel free to create stuff as needed. Um, the whole idea is to get sort of the fast moving ephemeral stuff into one spot. So, all official communications will happen there in the general channel. So, last minute updates. Please keep an eye on that throughout your time here. Next up, we have some other important Earls. Um, one day there'll be SIDS, not today. Um, schedule, it's there. Uh, we are, so uh, you will see room assignments and stuff. We're going to add the name of each. We will match tracks to rooms on here at the beginning of each day. So you know where to go by checking here. And hopefully by the end of today, we'll have permalinks to the actual tracks, which is another important bit. But hopefully you've seen this already. There's some other URLs, other web properties that are very important to know about. The next one is Luma. I'm going to actually take you here. Uh, this is where you RSVP to dinner. You're going to go here. You're going to click this calendar bit. Very important. So lots of folks have already found this, which is great. Uh, just make sure you get signed up in there. I am going to trust that you do this. Please do this. Um, cool. I was going to like do the same like pause and make you, but we're just going to leave it at that. Um, next up. Sunday events as well. Yes, that's actually very important to note. Uh, if you scroll to the bottom of this, if you would like to ride a horse or you would like to get on an e-bike, this is where you sign up for that as well. Sound good? This is really important to do in advance. The sooner you do this, the better, because then we get a sense of our numbers and we can help figure out how to Assign, assign people or allocate accordingly. If there's a lot of demand for one event, we're going to have to scramble. Um, so uh, next, this you probably haven't seen yet, mainly because this is the like secret skill testing question. It is pinned in the general channel if you need this URL. Here it is. Uh, this is a hack together, basically a digest of everything I'm telling you here. So all the logistics, if you need a reference, it's going to be on this page on Notion. Uh, we need something that could update faster. 
And last but not least, Discuss is we are using IPFS tooling from the IPFS community to help advance the IPFS community here as well. So there is a, a category on discuss.ipfs.io that all of the notes from all of our tracks are going to go onto. And so expect to see those there. Track leads know to put stuff here. And if you don't know that, we're going to be telling you that. Um, it's really important that you know about this because uh, this is where you'll go just to have easy access to public links. You can take notes in whatever format you like but we need them to end up here at the end. Okay, cool. There is also in this notion a page that is, uh, if you're a track lead, uh, oops, that was the Luma link, cool. Didn't check my URL beforehand. There's a page that explains notes for track leads that has all the details on some of these things. Okay, uh, that's web properties, URLs. Next up, social media. Uh, just on a general policy while we're here, please get the explicit consent of the people you've taken a photo of before posting to social media. Does that sound, it's pretty common sense, but make sure you actually ask before posting. Sound good? For a lot of these things, we have opt-ins, but we're, it's, we don't have an actual signage system for I don't consent to be recorded. So it's important before you post anything, just say, hey, I'm gonna post this to channel of choice. And if, when someone says, yes, you can do that, then you can do that. Um, COVID protocol, we have a COVID, pro COVID protocol. Thank you, Big Lap, much appreciated. The details of that are on Discuss. You can read about it there. If you have any questions or comments, a person with one of these lanyards can help you write your question. Uh, and then we also have, we are this event is following the IPFS Community Code of Conduct, which uh, you should check out these faces. That is aggressively large. Uh, <laughs> uh, Casey, can you stand up? And so Casey and I are the duty officers for the code of conduct for this event. If you feel that the code of conduct has been violated, please talk to one of us. We will route your request and handle it according to the way that it's documented in the IPFS community code of conduct. Sound good? Feel free to reach out to us either on digital channels or in person. Uh, we'll find a quiet space to take your request. And with that, we have the actual venue itself. Juan, did you want to talk about the venue? Or you want me to do this? Okay. So. Uh, we have a bunch of spaces in this venue. Today is super easy. It is all happening here on the second floor because this is our all together start day. Uh, so you're gonna hear some, we're gonna learn some new terms. Uh, Silverberg A and B, so this room is actually split in half. There is another copy of this room, one over. Uh, there's also Erie, which is where we had breakfast um, and other places. We also have the first floor. Um, th in the notion, there are links to these. Uh, so you can actually see this and zoom in on it yourself. It's kind of tough to see here, but uh, for, just for some like phonetic pronunciations of it, flow A is the large space that we will have starting tomorrow. Uh, Rima A and B are actually split slightly differently than this, but they are uh, smaller rooms off of flow A. Uh, Visa is on the back side of that. This is all on the main floor, so like as you walk in, you'll see all of this. Uh, and then Stemma A as well is there. There's also another room uh, that is reserved for the NetOps team, which is not on here. We also have a space on the eighth floor called Hayloft. This is going to be where any OnConf track sessions have happen. So this is up on the eighth floor. It's recommended to use the elevator to get there. Because OnConf tracks or OnConf sessions will be happening so high up, it's recommended that if you're running an OnConf track, go physically around other people and take them up there, and then use Slack to get the stragglers. It's the best way to sort of get people up to this space. Um, it's beautiful, so you should just go up there regardless because this venue's the bomb. Um, that's it for spaces. We'll get a much better sense of it tomorrow, um, but ideally everything is in the notion if you need to see more specific diagrams of these things. And last but not least, I think this is an Iceland hype video. There is something so special about this place and its origin. Rising from the Atlantic Ocean as the ashes from a series of volcanic eruptions. to this place feels like arriving to another planet. It's like you are the first person walking on these shores, standing underneath that waterfall, breathing the air. As a Swede, my friends often joke with me that I'm a Viking. This was the first time I somewhat felt like one.
So I think that covers everything you wanted to cover from logistics. Cool. I think so. So from here, we have a break? No. Um, yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We do have a break. So let's take 10 minutes. And... I, th I think we're. So there was a keynote that I was going to do. Oh, right. But I decided not to do it. So you now have an hour free. Isn't that amazing? Doesn't that feel great? <laughs> uh, don't worry. Anything important that I was going to say, I will include it and say it somewhere else. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, I think that's it, right? Anything yeah. else? Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. Cool. Thank you. Let's have a good one.